This presentation will demonstrate the installation of a Bolimo spring return actuator mounted directly on the horizontal jack shaft of a Tamco flange to duct mount type damper. This actuator is being mounted indoors in a dry, relatively clean environment free from corrosive fumes. Belimo spring return actuators are rated NEMA 2 and will take a light splashing of liquids. If the actuator is to be mounted outdoors, a protective enclosure should be used to shield the actuator. Allow adequate space on the jack shaft for actuator mounting and service. A standard jack shaft extends 10 inches beyond the exterior of the damper frame. You can adjust this length by sliding the rod to the left or to the right. If required, longer jack shaft rods can be ordered. Once the jack shaft has been installed and extended to the desired length, tighten the locking collars to secure the jack shaft rod in place. Refer to the horizontal jack shaft installation guidelines video for complete jack shaft installation instructions. Rotate the damper blades to their fail safe position. In this case, the jack shaft rotates counterclockwise to close. Note that one side of the actuator is designated as counterclockwise and the other as clockwise. If you want this damper to fail to the closed position, mount the actuator with the counterclockwise side facing the left damper frame. The mechanical spring will drive in the counterclockwise direction on loss of power. Next, adjust the universal clamp so that it will accommodate the one inch diameter of the jack shaft. A new Belimo actuator ships from the manufacturer with the one half inch adapter inserted in the tooth block of the universal clamp. This adapter must be removed in order to allow the actuator to fit over the jack shaft. To remove the adapter, slip the retaining clip off the universal clamp, remove the black plastic faceplate from the universal clamp and slide the V-bolt all the way up to enable you to lift the tooth block and adapter sufficiently to remove the adapter. The adapter can now simply be lifted from the tooth block. Reassemble the universal clamp without the adapter by allowing the tooth block to fall back to its original position and then replace the plastic faceplate. The prongs on the faceplate fit into the holes on the universal clamp, securing the tooth block in place. Note that if the jack shaft were to rotate clockwise to close, you would need to move the universal clamp to the clockwise side of the actuator. When reassembling the universal clamp to the actuator, take care that the parts are properly aligned. There is a small notched marking on the universal clamp and a corresponding notch on the actuator. Align the two notches and fit the universal clamp back onto the appropriate side of the actuator. Lock the universal clamp to the actuator using the retaining clip. Verify that the damper blades are still in the fail-safe position and slide the actuator over the end of the jack shaft. Position the actuator in the desired location and tighten the V-bolts just enough so that there is still a little play. Attach a Belimo ZG103 right angle mounting bracket to the damper frame with self-tapping screws. The mounting bracket should be set at the proper height so that when the anti-rotation bracket is attached, the U-shaped slot at the base of the actuator plate will fit over the stud of the anti-rotation strap. The stud should be positioned approximately halfway up the U-shaped slot. Affix the anti-rotation strap to the mounting bracket. Insert the manual crank into the hexagonal slot on the face of the actuator and rotate the crank counterclockwise until the bottom edge of the universal clamp moves 5 degrees above the full fail-safe position, which is at 0 degrees. Lock the universal clamp in place by toggling the manual override lever to the locked position. Firmly tighten the V-bolt nuts using a 10 mm wrench or socket. When the manual override mechanism is released, the actuator will automatically drive toward the full fail-safe position. This provides compression against damper gaskets for a tight shutoff. If this actuator has never been powered up before, you may omit the previous step. 
as AFBUP actuators are shipped with a manual override already adjusted for a plus 5 degree position at the universal clamp. Remove the manual crank and store it on the actuator by inserting the prong on the handle into the hexagonal slot. All that remains to complete the installation is to apply power and cycle the actuator to test that it has been properly installed. If there is an obstruction, making it impossible to mount the actuator on the end of the jack shaft, it can be mounted in front of the damper. To do this, loosen the locking collars and jack shaft crank arms. Slide the shaft out of the bearing until you can slip the actuator over the shaft. Make sure the actuator is oriented so that the counterclockwise side is facing to the left. Reinsert the shaft in the bearing and retighten the locking collars and jack shaft crank arms. Then position a Belimo jack shaft anti rotation bracket on the jack shaft bearing so that the angled protrusion at the end of the bracket aligns with the U shaped slot on the actuator. Attach the anti rotation bracket to the jack shaft bracket using self tapping screws. Verify that the damper is still in the fail safe position and that the actuator's universal clamp pointer tab is at 5 degrees above the full fail safe position. Firmly tighten the V-bolt nuts using a 10 mm wrench or socket. Apply power and cycle the actuator to test that the damper opens and closes properly. If two actuators are required to operate the damper, these can be installed in tandem using a ZG102 multiple actuator mounting bracket with a ZG103 right angle mounting bracket. In this example, we are mounting the actuators on the right hand side of the damper assembly. Position the first actuator in the desired location on the jack shaft and tighten the V-bolt nuts just enough so that there is still a little play. Affix the anti-rotation strap to the right angle mounting bracket. Slide the mounting bracket into position so that the U-shaped slot at the base of the actuator fits over the stud of the anti-rotation strap. Use self-tapping screws to attach the mounting bracket to the damper frame. Next, position the second actuator in the desired location on the jack shaft and firmly tighten the V-bolts manually. Set the ZG102 multiple actuator mounting bracket in place and attach it to the right angle mounting bracket. Adjust the sliding components of the ZG102 so as to accommodate the actuator's width and tighten the bolts. Attach the second anti-rotation strap to the ZG102 so that it fits into the U-shaped slot at the base of the second actuator. Firmly tighten the V-bolt lock nuts to secure the actuators to the jack shaft. Now cycle the actuators to test that they have been properly installed and to verify damper operation.